today I have another haul for you and I'm actually really excited about this haul because a while ago, if you don't remember, I did a bunch of hauls from a bunch of new brands that I've never tried before that I wanted to get an idea of how they fit and give you guys like insight into brands that you were curious about. One of you suggested a brand called Maurice's. I tried them out and I loved them. Now I had shopped Maurice's before for leggings, but I've never like tried their clothing. Well, after seeing that haul and seeing how much I love their clothing, after seeing how many people I told about their leggings, because they are still literally my favorite leggings, Maurice has reached out to me and asked me to do a haul for them, but also to style some looks for their Instagram page, which I am really, really excited about. Like, it's just fun when you do things totally gratis, you fall in love with a brand and they fall in love with you back and that's what happened. So today I'm going to take you through some of the items I picked for those looks. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of different things to try. I, I like, like most of them. I actually like all of them. We're not unboxing them because I already opened them up because I wanted to like play with them because I was really, really excited. So I'm sorry I'm not opening the packaging. But I'll walk you through the fit and things that I learned about the fit from trying them on. And then obviously you'll get to see me try them on as well. So with that guys, let's jump right into the haul. The first item I got is this really cool, like, I thought it was a blouse, but it's actually more of like a stretchy shirt. What I loved about it is it has that mutton sleeve with some ruching down below here. So like here it's a normal sleeve and then it ruches about there. And then obviously it has the elastic to kind of keep that puffity, puffity, puffity sleeve. Here's what I love about this shirt. It's very figure flattering things to note. It does not go out at the bottom, so it's a very straight cut bottom. So for me, it's a little looser up top and straight on the hips, but it actually looks super good. So I'm okay with that cut, but for those of you that are uncomfortable with this area being tight, may not be the shirt for you. Or if you're, um, you know, if you're tend to be smaller in the waist, it shouldn't be a problem as well. It's a deep v-neck. It is a sewn wrap. So it is a wrap like aesthetic, but it's actually sewn. And then there's a tie that you can either choose to have on or off. I like it with, I think it adds like a really cute definition to the waist region, which I'm always loving defining that waist. The pattern itself is really pretty. I love the colors. I also am trying to become bolder and wear a lot more white because I think that it's one of those colors that I've been told not to wear because I'm chubby and I like being like, well, screw you, I'm gonna wear whatever I want. So I got a lot of white. Uh, this is made of polyester and spandex, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. There's something about a big sleeve that like just makes me feel important. And this shirt is giving me boss lady vibes. Don't mess with me. The next item I got, you can see that I've already worn it because it's a little wrinkly, is this lovely yellow three quarter length cardigan. A, you need cardigans for New York when it's fall into and fallen why do i keep thinking fall goes into spring when it's winter into spring also on that note like i feel like the weather is so inconsistent right now i'll probably need it spring into summer so it's a great just little item to have in your wardrobe this is really fun it's got some nice details here right at the shoulder that same detail is kind of echoed down the front of the cardigan i got a size three in pretty much every shirt i got there's one shirt i got in a two and I got the pants in a size 24. Looking at this, it's got a nice kind of ribbed bottom, which is very forgiving and nice and kind of pulls in against your body. So it gives you that flexibility of a stretch, but then also like conforms to the body. It's made of rayon and polyester. And the decoration, I guess, up here is made of something else, but I don't know what that is. I love this buttery yellow color because sometimes this yellow is like too much for people, but I feel like this yellow is just the right color that everyone can feel comfortable wearing it without it being as like polarizing as mustard yellow can be for some people. It just makes me feel so sunny and happy. Like I'm a warm spring flower when I'm in this color. Yes, golden girl. But actually golden girls are actually really cool. I was gonna say not the old kind, but like no, the old kind, the old kind is awesome. I love a good flannel. I just, it's a secret about me. I don't wear them a ton, but I appreciate them. And the last time I shopped at Maurice's, I got a really amazing flannel. It was green and black and had like sparkly bits in it. So when I was looking at their stuff online, I was like, okay, I've got to get another flannel. Here's what I like about this flannel. It's got this cute little detail at the top where it's just a little cutout with kind of a V-shaped cut like marks there. I don't know if you can see it on my hand. 
The flannel itself is in colors that are very flattering to me, obviously. <laughs> it's mustard yellow and blue, which are almost my two favorite colors, even though there's a little bit of pink in there as well. My favorite colors, again, if you do not know this already, are orange and blue. It can be rolled up like it is right now, or you can take it down and have a full cuff, just depending on what you want. There's not, like on the one that I had previously, it had like a button. It doesn't have that kind of like button up detail. You're just gonna have to roll it up if you want it shorter sleeved. As far as the back, the yoke here has just got a single pleat down the center, so very traditional style. And it's super cute. I find it's not super long. It's a little bit longer than the hip, but it's not like one of those oversized flannels that you get from some other stores. The fabric itself, it's not fuzzy like a flannel, it's a lighter weight shirt so it's like a it's a plaid print but it's more of a dress shirt material it's actually made out of polyester and cotton so that stiffness I'm feeling is probably a little bit of that cotton but yeah so this is this is definitely like a flannel inspired piece but in a more summery fabric I guess you'd call it a camp shirt technically but that feels weird I'm an adult I'm not going to camp anymore so I'm just gonna call it a not flannel flannel yeehaw that's how I feel in this. It's very country, but like not country like bucking Broncos actually. More like a nice cottage with sweet tea. Does anybody else feel that? This is a sweet tea shirt. You wear it when drinking tea that is sweet. I'm an Arnold Palmer type of girl, so mine would have lemon in it as well. Lemonade in it as well. This is the one item I got in a two. It's because I wanted the t-shirt to be a little bit fitted and I saw on the model that it was a bit oversized. And I literally just got this because I related to what it said. You had me at chips and salsa. If you do not know this, I love me some nachos. I love me some chips and salsa. There's nothing more for refreshing when it is hot outside to just sit there and eat chips and salsa. It's amazing. So I personally related with this shirt and felt I had to have it. It's black, it's got a bib bottom, and it's really soft. Actually, I got two t-shirts from them. You'll see the other one in just a second. And one thing I will note is their t-shirts are super soft, like their leggings, so they are, like they win hands down of like the most comfortable plus clothing. Just in my opinion, of the brands I've tried, they are always the most comfortable. So it's yeah, just a cute t-shirt. I think it's adorable. I'm excited about it. I relate to it. Can we uh, talk about this shirt? Okay, I had to. I had to. I'm just really punny. The next item we have is a really cute pair of cropped pants. So these cropped pants are super fun. What I like here is they give you kind of the option. So they rolled the cuffs up, but you could also wear them down to be just like a skimmer, which is where they go just above your ankle. Or if you want a full crop or even verging on capri, you can roll it up once and then you get the raw hem detail there. Or you can roll it up twice and then really commit to that capri look, which is totally feasible. So I like pants that are big enough at the bottom that I have the option to do that because some aren't. As far as the back, we're looking at a typical back pocket here. I like it's a little bit distressed so you see like the overlay here and on the front there's some like sandblasting down the front. You'll see some destruction up at the pockets. Not a ton. It's very lightly distressed. You can see some distressing here but it's not a heavy distress so it doesn't it's not going to be like your knee popping through a hole. It's just going to be like these are my favorite jeans. I've worn them forever. In the front, we got some nice deep pockets. The standard pocket up here is a little bit different. Normally it's like a square. This one goes all the way across. So I feel like it can hold more. Like this could solidly hold a credit card. They have a really nice stretch to them. You see that? Oh yeah, stretchy. Mm, it's like my workout for the day. And yeah, I just thought they were a great basic pair of jean crops and denim. And I feel like spring essential, uh, essential essential sometimes I pronounce words and I'm like hmm I have done this wrong so these are actually super comfortable they're really nice they're good and stretchy so I can like bang on kick if I want to yeah they're just a great pair of jeans and my butt looks good Boop. <laughs> so here's our other t-shirt from the haul it's just a simple white t-shirt and I want to talk about this just a little bit I think this is called a slub knit, not 100% certain, but whatever this is made out of is like the softest thing I've ever touched. It is unbelievably comfortable. I wore it, I already shot in this, and wait till you see the images, I'm like, ah, I'm in love with it. Anyway, it is so soft. 
and it is a little bit see-through like lighter weight fabric you're gonna have that but it's not it's I, I just love it it's like on the same par as the leggings I talked about earlier with the other t-shirt which was soft but this is like incredibly soft if I didn't care about fashion and I just wanted to be comfortable I would pretty much just wear this t-shirt and the leggings all day every day and just be like this is my life now welcome to comfort town so this is my go-to white t-shirt now probably my go-to t-shirt period it's so comfortable so soft I can't I can't say enough about it it's literally the best so these might be my favorite thing in the entire haul like I love them not kind of like them I love them so these are a pair of white denim now you're gonna have to forgive the marks I did already shoot these and I sat down like an idiot on a park bench so there's like a little mark right there because I sat on a park bench this did not come this is not part of the distressing this is called Anna shot she did have time to wash them before she shot so yeah park bench realness anyway they are a distressed pair of white denim again nice and stretchy and it has the most adorable little um, distressing here and in various parts across the pants so there's one here it's down the side then at the bottom genius it's a lace up crop there's a little lace right here you can tie these look amazing on me and again it's one of those like oh i'm not supposed to wear white i'm gonna wear all white so i've been searching for a pair of white jeans that i'm just like i love fit me perfect make me feel comfortable and still feel as stylish as some of the other things I see and I just haven't found them and these these are it also on the pockets which is really cute they've got some fold over detail here which I love as well I think that's just a nice little extra accent other than that like I don't have much to say other than I've worn the hell out of them that's why they desperately need to be laundered and I didn't realize how much I'd worn the hell out of them until I just took a look at seriously obsessed with them <laughs> favorite pants of the season thus far He's so cute. So then, a couple more things. It's a long haul, guys. It's a lot of stuff. The first is this adorable pink cocktail dress. I love a good flounce. It just means in the summer, you can choose not to wear my least favorite thing in the world, which is a bra. I hate bras. It has a nice little keyhole detail here in the back secured with a button and then the flounce does that nice separation that I always like it's a double layer so you have two kind of flounces there it comes up to kind of a mock halter so it is a high strap but it has the appearance of a halter this is really great if you are a pear shape because what it's going to do is draw the eyes up to your shoulders it's going to balance out your figure as far as length this is on the shorter side of dresses it's probably about two to three inches above the knee as far as what it's lined in, you've got that same soft polyester lining and then the lining over top. It does come in with an elasticized waist to kind of accentuate and define that waist as well. And I just love the color. Like, look at the color. So great, so great, so summery, so spring, so flowers and happiness. New York, learn from this dress. And this, ladies, is how you are. Pretty and prank, <laughs> pretty and prank. I can't even say it right pretty and pink Ugh. also on the dress train and it's a similar neckline that it does kind of that faux halter and it does have the keyhole detail on the back but without the ruffle instead it's red lace this is a little bit longer I found it about an inch longer when I was trying them on and again with the elastic waist that's accentuated the lace I'm gonna look at what it's made out of because it might be made out of something different but something in my human brain tells me that it's probably all polyester still oh it's nylon and spandex well look at here mama was wrong so it's nylon and spandex this dress is uber cute it's just cute and what i like about it is since it has some nice stretch to it when it's really hot out and things get stuck to you it's not gonna like whoosh away it's just gonna stick to you and stay nice and move with you as it's stuck to you that sounds gross but we all know the truth when you sweat things stick to you and when they are not stretchy or have no stretch to them you sometimes can like get stuck 
in your movement. Like you get limited. Does that just happen to anyone else? Am I sounding like crazy right now? Cause seriously, sometimes I feel like my clothes, clothes are trying to trap me in the summer. So I'm like, oh, you got stretch? Sign me up, I'm in. Also ketchup and mustard right now. Solid hamburger chic. Yas, girl. Red is so my color. Spicy. <laughs> oh, I just love it. This just looks really cute. Can I say more good things about it? Yes, I can. What summer without a white denim jacket? This one's super fun. It's cropped, has a released hem here. So it was actually shown up here, then distressed a little and released. It's, it's just so cute. It's so cute, it's so cracked. I've always wanted a white denim jacket ever since Lisa Turtle had one on Save by the Bell. My mother wouldn't let me have one because it's white. Nobody wants a white jacket and I'm like, this girl does. Well, Lisa Turtle, you're not the only girl in town with a sweet white denim jacket anymore. Mama's got one too. Because, oh, oh, oh yeah. Sorry. So, as you can see here, it has no stretch in the length of the jacket, but it does have stretch in the width, especially in the arms. Not a ton, but a little. But if you have bigger arms, it's gonna give you some extra space there. So you won't necessarily have to size up like you do in some brands. You'll be able to buy just your standard sizing and rely on that stretch to give you maybe a half an inch extra space up there. I just think it's adorable. It's got cute little bucket front, bucking, bucking, button front pockets that you can unbutton and just live life your best way. Who else wants to see this over a bikini this summer? Because that's gonna happen, cause it's an aesthetic that I'm secretly in love with. When the teacher pops a test, you know you're gonna mess and your dog had all your homework last night. It's all right, cause I finally got my white denim jacket. Seriously though, I've wanted this for so long. Can we have a moment of silence for dreams coming true, people? The last but not least, what would be a Maurice's hell without some leggings? They have cropped leggings for summer, so I keep pretending it's summer. It's not, it's just like spring, but I'm like, I'm just gonna fast forward straight to summer. Anyway, for spring slash summer slash every day I wanna be comfortable, I bought the Capri version of the leggings. I have one pair now. I'll probably have like six pairs by the end of the summer. These are the best. They're the ultra soft, soft ones. Those are my favorites. The ultra soft, and they usually have them in a couple different colors. They always have black and gray, but like I got maroon and I got star print uh, during the winter season. So I'm sure they'll have some other ones for the spring and summer season. So the last thing I got is just like a couple pairs of shoes and an accessory. I got some jewelry too, but I'm just not gonna go through that now. Maybe I'll do a jewelry haul later and show you guys that. But let me show you the shoes I got. Actually, I'm super impressed with the shoes because I'd never bought shoes from them before, but because I was shooting some looks that I was styling for them, I wanted to get like their shoes, <laughs> like everything from them. And boy am I glad I did because there's a pair of shoes that I'm now having a love affair with. And if you look at my Instagram, you'll see that I've worn them already. Um, these shoes are legit, super comfortable and adorable. Also, the straps are Velcro. I wanna have a little side rant here. I don't know who the person is that's like, let's put buckles on high heel shoes. But for anyone who's ever had to try to buckle a high heel shoe, it's hard by yourself. It's not impossible, you can do it, but you usually have to sit down or like contort your body in some weird way just to put your shoe on. But here, Velcro, it's genius. Still looks classy, still looks great. Nobody knows, super much more convenient. Why, why is not everybody doing this? Listen to me, shoemakers of the world. Ease is your friend. If I have to work for half an hour to get your shoe on your high foot, I'm just not gonna wear them, period. I wear these all the time now. Anyway, here's why I love them. I have a me slightly wide foot. I'm not quite a full wide foot, but I'm not quite like a normal wide foot, do I live in the half fat foot world. These fit incredibly well here. And I was nervous, because I was like, um, I weirdly, not fat, not skinny foot may not fit in there. They fit like a charm. I also feel like a wider foot would probably fit in here as well because I didn't feel super tight. Though, I can't guarantee that. Someone's gotta try it because I have my, my, 
my in-betweeny foot. I'm not sure like where it lives. It's super comfortable. And then the bottom of it is actually pretty soft and they've got some nice padding in it and the heel's not too high. I've shot in these a couple times now and I love them. I even climbed a hill in these shoes. True story, image to come. Actually, no, here's the image right now. I climbed a hill in these shoes to take this picture, which I'm not even using for the campaign, but I'm gonna put it in here because I think it looks very editorial, a little weird, but yeah, these shoes, I hiked in them. I hiked in them, so yeah, they're legit. These are super cute. Everybody needs like a little plimsoll. That's what they call it in the UK. It's just a, a slip on sneaker because you can put your foot in and then this elastic like stretches out and then holds to the back of your foot. Simple detail, no tie, which is quite nice. This is just a basic shoe to kind of rock with some cute dresses for kind of a cute, casual, but sporty, but floral and fun look. Sorry, I didn't know what to say other than like repeat something I heard on what not to wear. Shoes! The last pair of shoes I got are this adorable mauve pair of shoes. Again, thoughtful way to get onto it. No buckles. Screw you buckles, we don't need you buckles. Zipper, again, smart way to put a shoe on. I'm just saying, shoe people, help us get into our shoes. Don't prevent us from getting into our shoes. Help us, and Maurice's is doing that. They obviously thought about that. The rope has a nice little give to it. It's not stretchy, but it does have a little give to it. My foot fits really nicely into these shoes, and I love that it's this mauve color. Obviously, it's super in the season. It's gonna look right with Avra Kang. <laughs> I just really like them. I just love a shoe that I can easily put on, looks cute, and the details are really cool on the top of the shoe. Like, how intricate and fun is that? Very boho chic. And I think it's gonna look really cute with the like long maxi dress, especially, as well as a couple little other outfits I'm putting together. You'll see. So that is my very, 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 very long Maurice's haul. I wanna give a huge shout out to two people. First, thank you from Maurice's for finding out about me and asking me to do this amazing work with you guys. And two, Thank you to whoever recommended Maurice's. I don't remember, it was so long ago, but thank you. You helped me A, find an amazing new brand to showcase you guys, and B, find a partner that I can work with that makes products that I feel good about sharing with you. So everybody wins, everybody wins. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys saw some amazing new pieces that you love. There are links down below in the description if you wanna get any of these items. Again, it's a very affordable brand, it was like, really shocked at how much I was able to get and kind of put together for not too much money. So go ahead and check them out if you haven't checked them out before. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll check you guys later. Have an amazing day and peace.